The Tobago Division of Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce is offering commendations. Speaking at a press conference, they expressed satisfaction with the festival's growth over the past three years, noting its emergence as a unique carnival brand for Tobago. Alpha Lord, president of the Tobago Hotel and Tourism Association, highlighted that the THS efforts are yielding positive results. I'm pleased with the Division of Tourism and the Festivals Commission in terms of their marketing approach this year, albeit I think it started a little later than I would have liked, but at least it, they have done what is necessary to create the buzz, and that buzz has translated into demand. Flights and ferries are arriving fully booked with passengers and the chamber aims to assist the THA in making the event even bigger and better in the future. They are urging the tourism secretary to host a multi-stakeholder post-mortem meeting immediately after the carnival to discuss the way forward according to chamber director Brendan Gray. What changes need to occur to this whole experience so that we not stay, get stuck in the oneness and continuous environment of only what we see now. We must grow. Meanwhile, Tobago Division Cha Chairman Curtis Williams wants the future of Carnival to be driven by the private sector. The THA will come in with whatever they have to do with the fringes in the end, but we're not going to wait on that purse. We're not going to wait on that post. Let this be a good business venture in Tobago. We will be the, the difference to the carnival and not just waiting for the THA to do handouts and all these payouts. Let's do it in the private sector. The private sector is already sponsoring 2.5 million of the Tobago Carnival budget for 2025. Williams expects that as the festival continues to grow and establish its identity, both local and international investors will contribute even more funding.